What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with the E3 Classic and Flemish Cycling Week is well underway. Before I forget, shout out to Rousey01 for the start list and MRA99 for doing the stage. Great job by both those guys and it's a really fun classic today. I think it was last won by Zdenek Stibar in 2019. So looking at the start list, we do have two big favourites, Wout Van Aert. I mean, this man is just getting better and better in PCM these days. Same goes for Matthew Vanderpool. Those guys are the two big favourites, but we do have the Koenig Quickstep who have plenty of options, that is for sure. We have Trek with Pedersen and Sturven. Christoph is here as well. Leading DSM, we have Kra Anderson and TS Benut. Phil Gilbert, after a disappointing Milan San Remo, is here. We have a fun team for Group Armour, that's for sure. Greg Van Avermaet is here with Nars and Betiol. You can see the teams. I don't think Bora are actually riding the race, um, but they will be starting in this one. We have Michael Matthews here, Tom Pickock for the Ineos Grenadiers. Interested to see how he gets on in this one. We have Direct Energy, Movistar, Van Marker is here as well. The likes of Yampi Drucker, who is a really underrated rider in my opinion. Same goes for Ion Livens. He's a really solid rider. Uno X as well. They've been great so far this season. So a few options for the team selection today. I almost went for Ineos. In the end though, we will go for Stefan Kung and Group Armour FDJ, but they also have Kevin Genex, who has been really impressive so far this season. Jake Stewart as well. It's a fun team. Let's get it. It's uh, not the dream start to the race because we do have some pretty poor race days on our two leaders. I would suggest Genietz and Kung. Hopefully um, those guys can still do okay. I will try and get Alexi Brunel in the breakaway. We have Jonas Ruch, Team Mobile Legend, trying to join right there as well. And we could have a pretty strong breakaway looking at some of these riders. Uh, Hviderberg for Uno X is a very strong rider as well. They're letting these guys go for the moment. Early on, we do have a pretty powerful breakaway. Rai Sagan is trying to bring it in because 23 riders have formed this massive group up the road. I really hope it goes. It will make the race very interesting indeed, but the tractor is on the front. So it's fair to say we've had a rapid start to today's race. The breakaway were caught, and we've already seen a fair few riders out the back. Some strong ones as well. Now, Vias is out the back. I mean, let's take a look this way. It's Vide Ballerini is gone. What on earth? In the end, it will be a much smaller breakaway up the road. Brunel is still there. We have Jonas Roach, Rob Stannard, Vidberg again, uh, but a much less powerful group. We're now hitting the major climbs on the day. For the moment, we're just going to stay sat into the front. I'm going to try and focus still on Kung, Genietz and Stewart. Try and get those guys to the finish in the front group. Right now then, we have 37 riders at the front. Tim DeClaire's doing right there. Further Koenig. Plenty of riders have been dropped in groups behind. I can see Matt Pedersen is here. That is um, a big, big surprise to me. Pickcock as well. Still, we have 60 or 55k to go now. 46 are at the front. Still, though, we have teammates working um, for their squad. So, not really worth attacking. We've just got to try and stay in position at the moment. And you know what? 50k to go. We don't have too many cobble climbs remaining. This could be a chance to try and make a difference. I do want to try and keep Jake Stewart in this group. We know he can sprint very well. Not as well as a certain Welt van Aert, but we can definitely get a good result with him if he is in the front group. It's just whether we're able to keep him there. But for the moment, it hasn't been too difficult. Right now, onto the Passberg. We're going to make sure we're staying to the front. And there is a chance here to try and perhaps make some differences on this cobbled set to the break. We're just up the road at this point. Stefan Kung really is pressing on right now. Jenny Epson Stewart need to try and stay with our strongest cobbler in the team despite this poor day. And you know what? It's not going to be a massive tempo over the top, it looks like. Let's put Olivier Legac on the front for a little bit. And the rest of our guys do stay in this group. And suddenly, we have 20 riders here. Legac, uh, Guarnieri, and Leinhardt, I think, can relay. And we'll keep Stuart, Kung, and Genietz just sat in this group until we hit the Eau de Quarmont, which is happening right here. Let's go straight up to 85. Alexi Brunel probably is about to be caught as well. And we're now in a decent position, I believe. I mean, we were, but Jake Stewart has just been uh, blocked terribly. So is Kevin Genietz. Oh, the blocks on the cobbles are so frustrating. And Stefan Kung is now struggling to stay with Phil Gilbert, who is flying off the front of this group. Luckily, he can get in the wheel 
of Alexi Brunel for a little bit, but our positioning there I thought was great. Apparently not though, uh, because we've just been blocked off at every opportunity. We're still in a group though with Wout van Aert. And we're trying to get Jake Stewart back in, but he is in a group with De Koenig, so that should be fine. Kevin Jennietz is just about staying in, perhaps getting just dropped off the back right there, so Stewart can get in his wheel, but we still have Kung in the front group. And we're not going to relay. Phil Gilbert is off the front. We still have a big group together with Van Aert, Van Der Poel at the front, and I think we should come back in with Genietz and Stewart as well. Yes, we do as Alexi Brunel is done for the day, but I can see attacks going off the front and it's a very dangerous one on this occasion because you can see the riders that are trying to join that group. Genietz and Stewart didn't really have the opportunity to try and get to the front, sadly, and Kung is dropped as well. We'll sit on set for marker, but that is a dangerous group that have gone up the road now. 28k to go, we need to get back on. So up the road, there are plenty of attacks taking place. Luckily, we do have some riders here. So Kung, Genietz and Stewart are going to try and work together, but eight riders up the roads. They're still attacking. We could be gone for the race right now. Let's try and push it on this cobbled sector. If we can, maybe too late for us. So unfortunately, 16k to go. It doesn't look like we're going to get anything out of this race because four riders have gone clear. It's Pollitt, Van Der Poel, Van Aert and Soren Kra Anderson. We're not even in the group behind. We just don't have the energy and don't have the race days. I'm afraid, guys. We're going to try and work with uh, Genietz and Kung for Jake Stewart, but... It's not going to be our day. So we have 4k to go. It's time to try and push to the line, I think, a little with Jake Stewart. We're fighting for a top 15, though, I'm afraid, guys. It's not going to be a great result today. Up the road, though, let's see who takes it. Van Aert, Pollitt, Van Der Poel and Kra Anderson going for the line. Van Aert, surprisingly, is jumped by Matthew Van Der Poel. Matthew Van Der Poel wins E3 ahead of Wout Van Aert. Jake Stewart hopefully can get a top 15. Let's see. I mean, the group up the road's... I mean, there's a massive group. It's a shocking result, I'm afraid, guys. Let's see where Jake Stewart finishes. Our best finisher today. He will win the sprint from this group, will he? Just ahead of Stanar, Van Marka and Aviti. And we will just about get a top 15. But yeah, not what we wanted. Well, guys, I did my best, but 15th place. Three top 20s, but only one top 15. It's not what we came to the race for. But Matthew Van Der Poel, apparently, according to PCM, is going to win E3 this year. But guys, I hope you enjoyed. Drop a like on the video if you did. Drop a sub to my channel as well if you're new. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I will see you in the next one.